Hello and welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to explain how to install Condor 3 on a Windows 7 PC or server. It is part one of two. Overall steps. There are four steps to installing Condor 3 on a PC. First, check to make sure you have all the Microsoft high priority updates installed. Second, check to make sure you have the latest Java update installed. Third, install the MySQL uh, database server and fourth install the Condor software itself. Note the MySQL workbench software which acts as a graphical user interface for the MySQL server will be installed with the MySQL installation. This presentation will cover steps one and two. So overall pictorially uh, Condor 3 software here's kind of the building blocks at the lowest level is the operating system your Mac OS X Windows or Linux Next, you have the Java Runtime Environment, or abbreviated JRE. You have the MySQL Database Server. You have a couple APIs, which are optional, such as the Google Custom Search Engine API, which Condor uses, and the Twitter API, which enables you to do a, a Twitter fetching. Um, and then on top of that, you have the MySQL Workbench, which enables you to actually look inside the MySQL database server, look at the databases and data sets. And then sitting on top of all that is the Condor 3 software. So these are the software building blocks that go uh, that are required for Condor 3 to really uh, use. Again, optional is the Workbench and the Google uh, CSC and the Twitter, um, but we highly recommend that you install those so that you can do a Google CSC search and as well as a Twitter search. So okay now this illustration uses the Amazon Works uh, Services workspace. Now that's a Windows uh, or a Windows 8 or higher PC may vary slightly. So Amazon Workspace is used as a Windows Server 2008 Revision 2 Service Pack 1. Uh, technically it is version 6.1 build 7601 Service Pack 1. Now to identify what version of Windows you are running, go to the start and type in WinVER. That's just click the start button, W-I-N-V-E-R, and press enter. A window will pop up with the Windows version you are running. Windows 7 is version 6.1, or again, build 7601 Service Pack 1. So there's a few little icons um, here um, below to show you how to type it in. A couple examples of Windows 7 Professional and Windows Server 2008. Again, this is all about Windows 7. Again, for Windows 8, it may vary slightly. Uh, for a little bit more on uh, the Windows, Windows version, so on, I have the Wikipedia link down below. Um, below the YouTube video, there's a show more. If you click on that, uh, you'll get all the links in this video as well. So the first step is to check what Microsoft high priority updates need to be installed. So um, if you go to your start button, I indicated that A at the bottom here of the graphic, uh, click on that, then go above and click on all programs on B, and then finally C, you'll find uh, an entry called Windows Update. And what I would like you to do is click on that Windows Update. Uh, in the left-hand panel, um, you're going to see a window open, and please click on Check for Updates. And a window will come up and it'll say Windows Update, checking for updates with a little green bar sliding back and forth. And if needed, install updates until Windows is up to date. Uh, you'll finally get a message that says Windows up to date. This might require you to reboot your PC um, if you have several updates that are sequential. So you want to keep doing that until you finally see the sign that says Windows is up to date. So, okay, the second step now is to install or update Java. You might ask, well, what is Java? Java is uh, a programming language and computing platform first released by Sun Microsystems way back in 1995. I have a little uh, URL at the bottom if you'd like to have more history on Java. However, in January 2010, Oracle purchased Sun Microsystems and now maintains Oracle Java. And um, the important thing is Condor 3 requires Java to run. So now let's talk about uh, how to install or update your Java. We'll start your browser such as Safari, Firefox, um, in Internet Explorer, etc. and go to this URL. Again, the URL is listed underneath the um, YouTube Show More, so you can just um, copy and paste that into your browser. And when you um, have that, you'll get a window similar to this 
that says verify Java and find out uh, and find out of date versions. So click agree and continue. Uh, next, you'll get a message that says if the latest version of Java is installed, then you'll get a message like this. Java versions on your computer. Congratulations. At the point I did this, uh, I was running version 7, update 67. It might be higher right now, but it's something similar. And then step 4, if not, click Go. The next series of steps will install Java, so we'll walk you through click by click. So click Go here. Uh, click Free Java Download. Uh, again, Java is free. And again, there's the link for java.com forward slash en for English forward slash. Uh, click on the Windows Offline 32-bit. Uh, that's what you want. And then what we want to do is save this file. And you can see the long Java Runtime Edition 7 Update 67 Windows i486.exe. So that's the file it's going to save. Then go to your Downloads folder and double-click on that uh, JRE uh, runtime uh, executable file, as indicated below. And step nine, um, it's going to ask you a little security question. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? And click Yes. Uh, next, a series of windows are going to come up so that we're going to click through these one at a time. So that next window, you want to say, click Install. And then a Java setup process bar appears going back and forth while it's doing the installation. And then finally, a Java complete message appears that you have successfully installed Java. So at the bottom, you can just click close. Now to check for Java updates, uh, go back to your start button, click start. Again, click on all programs. Then you're going to see a folder for Java. So click on the Java folder and you'll see two entries about Java and check for updates. And what I'd like you to do is click on check for updates. Then at the, um, um, a window will open and click the update tab. It's the second um, from the left at the top. And then finally click on update now. So this completes uh, the first two of the four steps of installing Condra 3 on a PC. You've completed all the high priority updates are installed and the latest Java update is installed. So the next two steps are to install the MySQL database server and to actually install the Condra 3 software. So again, welcome to um, Condra 3 on behalf of Galaxy Advisors. We hope you enjoy it.